Welcome back everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Electric Bishu 200 EX mod, which is pretty cool. This mod features 5 different vehicles, all with the Abishu 200 BX bodies, however these are called the Abishu 200 EX because they're all electric. There's a 300, 4, this is the 200, 300, 400, 500 S and then Overdrive. Um, and it's a pretty cool mod. So to get your hands on this mod, what you want to do is you can just go to the in-game repository here and you want to type in 200 EX and then just electric, just like this. And you should find the Abishu 200 EX electric drive with overdrive. This mod right over here, it's going to be 28.8 megabytes. So nice and small. And if you don't want to do this, then I'll also link the repository page down in the description for you. Anyways, we can start off with the driving here. These things are... Hello, Snow Golem. Uh, these things are kind of hard to control, um, but it's a really fun mod. Great to use overall. Um, so the thing is, it has ESC, and as you can see, I can just drive here. And the ESC is already just like normally kicking in. Um, I don't know if you could see that, but I was just accelerating ESC going crazy already. Um, so you probably just need to turn it off. And then it goes a lot better already. However, it is then really hard to control because it's rear wheel drive. At least this version is. And it's electric. And for some reason, the game doesn't necessarily like that. Um, and it just slides everywhere. Or the tires just definitely don't have enough traction. One of the two. Um, anyways, it is definitely a fun car to drive with. Um, so are the other ones as well. So that one's dead. Um, hold on. As you can see, it just it doesn't. It's not going. It's probably something I'm doing wrong, but that doesn't matter. That one is not as interesting, anyways. We'll take a look at the 400 um, ES one, which is they're basically all the same. They have different colors, different wheels, and this one's just a lot faster. This one, as you can see, is also all-wheel drive. Um, the 300 one is just a faster one, but still with rear-wheel drive. So that one's also really hard to control. Um, so the 400 one is the first one that does actually have rear-wheel drive. Um, as you can see, this one is a lot faster. This one's definitely a lot more fun to drive as well. It almost feels like a rally car, um, but then just... You know, it's electric, um, which is really cool. Electric part is fun because then you don't have to shift or anything, and it makes the cars feel a lot faster too because there's no time wasted shifting or anything like that. It, they're definitely really cool cars to drive, um, and you can pull off some pretty sick drifts as well. I'm just a terrible driver. Taking a look at the 500S here, and once again, this one is really just a faster version. This one almost get, almost gets a bit too fast. Um, it really understeers a lot, but it's uh, it's still definitely great fun to drive as well. You can tell that this one has a lot more traction, um, just by the way it drives. Um, but it is definitely still really fun to drive. This one is almost more like a track car. It's um incredibly fast, and there's a great response time as well. You can take a look at the interior here. Um, I believe the interiors for all of them are the exact same. As you can see, not the uh, highest quality interior, in interior, but it's definitely something you can work with. Um, sadly, these cars do not have any openable doors, hoods, or trunks um, like the normal Ibishu 200 EXs do. Um, however, that is perfectly fine. Anyways, uh, because who, like, who act, like, it's not a feature you actually use that often, right? Anyways, now we can take a look at the Overdrive model, which, as you can see, is wide-bodied. Well, not really. It's just got slightly wider um, side skirts there. Anyways, this one really is Overdrive. This one is a massive step up. Um, this one is basically impossible to control, especially because of the fact that I don't have a steering wheel yet. Um, I get paid soon from work, and then I'm going to buy one. Um, but, um, yes, it's uh, incredibly hard to control this. But this one's definitely also a real joy to drive. However, the thing is, um, I, I feel like it, it, even though the wheels are obviously different, I feel like it still has the same amount of traction as the, um, as the other ones, which makes it kind of goofy to m maneuver in. 
and well I'm just a terrible driver as I said this one does have a different steering wheel though it's got the one with the yellow uh, center line up top which obviously makes it twice as fast anyways these actually sound pretty cool as well As you can hear, they have a pretty cool sound. Anyways, that was basically this mod. Personally, I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, it's definitely a cool mod to play with. Um, and if you like it too, then do let me know down in the comments. And if you have another mod you'd like me to cover, or a type of mod you'd like me to cover, anything like that, then uh, feel free to let me know down there as well. Um, however, for right now, that was basically it. Do check out my other video. I've got one other video on a BMG Drive mod which basically covers a bendy bus mod which is pretty cool um, however for right now this was basically it thank you ever so much for watching and i hope to see you again in the next one bye bye